Hello. Since we will be moving to UltiPro in March, we thought we could give you a little introduction for when you first get into the system, a sort of getting started tutorial. In the email we have sent you, there is a link to the website. It will bring you to the login page shown in the picture here. For logging in, your username is your work email and your password is your date of birth in the format shown. It should be eight digits, no spaces, no slashes. If you have any trouble getting in, please contact me. Once you do get in, you will see your home page, which is shown here. There is some general information as well as some instructions on how to get set up. In the middle, where it says Welcome to UltiPro, is the same information that I will be going over now. But if you prefer to go at your own pace, it is on your home page. Update your favorites will walk you through customizing your menu for ease of navigation. Clicking into the menu, this is where it will show you what you were able to do. I would like to start by bringing you to the Myself tab, and then under Personal, please click Name, Address, and Telephone. Here is where your personal information is. Take a moment to go over it and make sure it is all correct. If it is wrong, or if there is information missing, in the upper right corner there is a button to edit. When editing, you may notice a field that is called Preferred Name. If you prefer to go by a middle name or a nickname, you can put it here so that it will not mess up your legal name, but still let you have the name you want to go by. Your work phone and email should already be in the system, but we might not have your personal number or email. If you could, please put that in as we would like to have it in case of emergency. Moving on to the contacts tab, this is where all your contacts will be. Emergency contacts, beneficiaries, and dependents. Please make sure they are in here. If they aren't, click on the green button to add them. Please have at least one emergency contact in case of emergency and one beneficiary for the employer paid life. Moving back to the menu, if you go under pay and click on direct deposit, it will bring you to a page similar to the contacts page. Check to make sure that your direct deposit information is correct or there. If it's not there or if it is incorrect, you can edit it or add a new account. To make sure your tax withholdings are correct, you will want to go to income tax. You can either go through the menu as shown here, or if you're in the direct deposit page, there is a tab that says income tax as well. So here should be a summary of your taxes. Please make sure all information is correct. If there is something incorrect, you can go to the right under things I can do and click on add slash change withholding form W4. From here, you will be shown three forms. You will probably want to click on the top one, but if you would prefer to fill out the form in Spanish, that's the second one. This is a simple form. Just fill out the information correctly and then click next on the upper right corner. Here it will show you what your W-4 form looks like. Take a moment to read it over and make sure it is correct. If you're satisfied with it, you can click on the checkbox and then click sign and save. You will be brought back to the page that looks over your withholdings. Please make sure you go over and make sure your state and local taxes are correct as well. Moving on to the timekeeping side of it, in your menu under workforce management, click on time. You may want to put this in your favorites since it will, you will be using it daily. So when you click on it, it will open up a new tab and bring you to your punch clock. This is where you will go to clock in and out. You do need to go through the main Ulti Pro to get here, so saving this page as a bookmark won't work. That's why it would be best to have it in your favorites. To clock in, you will use check in. Call back in is not needed. Once you are clocked in, the buttons will change. This is so you don't accidentally clock in or out twice in a row. From here, you can clock out for the day, which is check out, or start your lunch break, which you can use start break or start meal, whichever you prefer. They're interchangeable. Once you are done clocking in or out, you can click on the menu on the upper left side. Uh, we're going to go to timesheet next. Here's what your timesheet should look like. If you have clocked in and then you come here and don't see anything, don't worry. The punches will appear when there is a clock in and a clock out. On your timesheet, if you go under punch and click on the pad and pencil for the right day, you can see any incomplete punches. For example, if you forgot to clock it out and you would like to see what time you clocked in, it would be here. If you notice that you have a missing punch or if you clocked in at the wrong time, you can go over to the notes on the right side of your timesheet. Make sure it's on the correct day and click on the note to add a note for your manager. Mention the time of the punch and whether it was a clock in or clock out. You can have multiple notes per day 
So keep that in mind. Back in the menu, click on Dashboard to see an overview of your information. So here's what your dashboard should look like. On the right, you have your punch clock again. You can punch in from here as well as the punch clock page. Again, it is preference. The middle is where you can see your upcoming team time off. This is so you can see if someone else in your department has time off, so that way you can prevent the department from being empty one day by everybody asking off. On the left is where your recent activity will be shown. It's pretty self-explanatory as it is. Um, please keep in mind, we will be shutting off Kronos on Monday, so take the time to get to know the timekeeping software here. This also will be replacing ADP and Kronos together, so keep that in mind when moving forward. We do have a mobile app. It is free to download, no matter what phone you have. From here, you can see your information, clock in, see your timesheet, and make time off requests. Please don't be alarmed if you go in now and see that you don't have any sick or vacation time. We are currently working on it and we will keep you updated when we do have that in. There is also a directory in the middle where you can search for an employee and get their email or their extension for quicker navigation. The company code is LRP Media, which is shown here, and it is also on your homepage in UltiPro. Right now, I have gone over mostly the core part that's set up, but we will have more to roll out as we get further in. Time off requests should be off up very soon, and we will let you know as well as send out a tutorial when that is up. Benefits will be up a little later, and once again, we will give you a walkthrough on how to sign up for benefits, how to edit benefits, and things like that. And performance reviews will also be coming into Ulti Pro, so that way we can make it a little bit more cohesive. Please understand that since we are still working on it, it won't be perfect right away. Don't panic if something isn't working the way it should be. Just please let us know so we are aware of the problem. Once we get all the kinks worked out, it will make our lives easier, it will make your lives easier. So I'm really excited to get you all in. Now this presentation is just to get you started, so thank you for sitting through it. If you do have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to contact, contact us here in HR. We are happy to help, so thank you very much.